anti-government protesters set fire to the ancestral home of President Gotabaya Rajapaksa and Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksa. The houses of other current and former officials from the ruling party were also torched. The Prime Minister resigned yesterday amid widespread civil unrest. British Home Secretary Preeti Patel acknowledged that the implementation of the Migrant Relocation Agreement with Rwanda has been delayed due to legal hurdles and barriers from law firms that want to block the removal of individuals that have no right to be in our country. The UK plans to resettle a number of illegal immigrants in Rwanda. French President Emmanuel Macron said that it will take decades for Ukraine to join the European Union. Instead, he suggested that Ukraine join a parallel European community while waiting to be admitted into the bloc. The United States Treasury Department imposed sanctions on the financial networks of the Islamic State across Indonesia, Syria and Turkey. The department accused the networks of facilitating the travel of extremists to Syria and of conducting financial transfers to the group. Canadian Defence Minister Anita Anand said that Ottawa has no plans to recognise the Afghan Taliban government, which the country has listed as a prescribed terrorist group. Shanghai reported 3,014 COVID-19 cases on Monday, down from 3,947 on Sunday. However, there is no indication that the Chinese megacity's stringent lockdown will end anytime soon.